everyone, welcome to today's video. Let's get started. A 50-year-old woman comes to dermatology department with violaceous superiorbital edema and erythema. She also have papular lesion over extensor aspect of metacarpal phalangeal joint and proximal interphalangeal joint. She compens sudden onset of symmetrical proximal muscle weakness. She is unable to climb stairs and has difficulty in getting up from chair. She says that she is under treatment for SLE for past 10 years. What is the diagnosis? Hurry up the time is running. The answer is dermatomyositis. What is dermatomyositis? It is autoimmune inflammatory disease affects skin and mucil- It is more common in female of 40 to 60 years who are already having other autoimmune disease. When it occurs in children it is called juvenile dermatomyositis. When it occurs only with skin lesion without muscle involvement, it is called dermatomyositis sign myositis or amyopathic dermatomyositis. Clinical features include skin and mucil. First for skin, there are many classical signs which are one. Gut runs papule. There pathic nomoclesion. It appears as flat topped violaceous papule on extensor aspect of metacarpal phalangeal joint and proximal interphalangeal joint. 2. Pelitra crash. Violaceous periorbital edema and erythema. 3. The sign. Erythematous rash on anterior aspect of neck. 4. Scholl sign. Erythematous rash on posterior aspect of neck. 5. Preungual erythema. 6. Nail fold telangiectasia. 7. Calcinosis cutis. 8. Linear erythema of finger. 9. Holster sign. Tequilodermal lesion on larder aspect of thigh. 10. Samus sign. Dystrophic and ragged cuticle and nail fold telangiectasia. 11. Mechanics hand. Hyperkeratosis of palm. Muscle involvement shows subacute, progressive, symmetrical proximal muscle weakness, which is more in lower limb than upper limb. Pharyngeal and neck flexor involvement is common, but extraocular muscle and facial muscle are always spared. Moving on to investigation. There is very high level of CRP. Investigation of choice is muscle biopsy. The biopsy shows periphysicular atrophy and mononuclear cell infiltrate which is characteristic for dermatomyositis. Carcinoma ovary, stomach and lung can have dermatomyositis as perineoplastic syndrome. Antibodies found in dermatomyositis are 1. anti or histidyl tRNA synthetase antibody associated with non-erosive arthritis, interstitial lung disease in mechanics hand. 2. Anti-MI2 antibody. Associated with Gautron papules and Heliotroprash. 3. Anti-signal recognition peptide. Associated with cardiac involvement. 4. Anti-P155 P140. Associated with perineoplastic and juvenile dermatomyositis. Other investigations are. Electromyography. Screening for malignancy. Chest X-ray mammography and pelvic ultrasound. Treatment. Treatment of choice is prednisolone 1 mg kg. High dose IV methylprednisolone is necessary in patient with respiratory and pharyngeal weakness. Immunosuppressive therapy with azathioprine, methotrexate, cyclophosphamide and tacrolimus. IV immunoglobulin is given only for refractory and rapid progressive cases. That's all for today, hope you have learned something new. Hit the subscribe button and turn post notification on. Now for today's question. What is the diagnosis? Comment down your answers below catch you up in more interesting topics. Until then, it is bye from Dr. Harrison.